Hey, how you doing? Hope you're blessed today in Jesus Christ and he is abundantly filling you up. I just wanted to share with you that I'm going to be doing a hangout and you're uh, very welcome to join. It's going to be Sunday, November the 25th. Uh, that'd be this coming Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to be just talking about how we're destined to reign in Christ and how God through Jesus Christ has given us everything abundantly and we have everything we need in Christ already and how we can receive this by faith and how this will lead us into good works and how we really need to get established in the righteousness of Christ. So we're going to be talking about our righteousness, our abundance, and receiving that in Christ, we're going to receive it by faith because it's here right now for us to receive. Salvation is now, and we can receive it. And we're just going to remember that we have to continue hearing. We have to continue hearing, and we're going to do discussion and some reading, and then we're going to take Holy Communion because taking the Holy Communion will really release the power of the body of Je bro the broken body of Jesus Christ. It will release that healing into your body, into the cells of your body, into the DNA of your body, and just renew you and bring that life back into you. And then the cup, which represents Jesus' shed blood, just is the remembrance of a conscience that is totally cleansed from all sin, totally cleansed from all guilt. So you receive that atonement, and you're totally healed in your mind and your body through Jesus Christ. So just to share a quick testimony, I was having uh, uh, just in, this insomnia come on me, and you know it crept in because I didn't realize I wasn't being watchful. I wasn't guarding my heart. I hadn't been you know, staying established in the righteousness of Christ, which was the foundation of my faith that I originally came to Christ in. And, you know, just through work and living life, I just got caught up in, uh, you know, getting back into this workspace mentality, feeling like there's a weight on my shoulder and feeling like, you know, there's something I have to do to to please everyone and to make things right. And, and then when you get back into that mode of works like that, you automatically start to transfer that to God. So... I was transferring that back to God and believing that God was putting demands on me. God's putting demands on me for me to be right. And I have to, you know, live up to those demands. And it can feel impossible because you can't do it. But when I remembered my righteousness in Christ again and I began to stand on that, my righteousness in Christ... That God has abundantly given me everything, and I began to receive that again by faith. I began to receive the love of God and just know that God loves me. And God truly has given me everything through Jesus Christ. Taking the Holy Communion, my insomnia has been completely healed. So there's power in Christ, and you know, people are always talking about, oh, well, you got to do good works. Well, the good works. You can't produce the good works unless you are established in the righteousness of God. So you don't need to worry about the good works. There's no reason to worry about trying to do those things because they will naturally and automatically come when you get established in the righteousness of God. And you don't know how long, you know, maybe God needs to do a work in you for a time before he wants you to go out and, you know, do works and do things. So this is our foundation, friend. So... Uh, Sunday, November the 25th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're just going to be sharing about these things and sending forth blessings upon people, whoever shows up. And people are going to get healed. People are going to find uh, this newness in Jesus Christ and this new life in Jesus Christ that he gives because he loves us all and he came for us all to receive life through him. God sees us through Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ, the grace and the abundance that is in him is more than enough to cover up all of our sins and take them all the way and cleanse us completely. All right, so I'll see you then. God bless you.
Hey, I just wanted to share with you as well that this is going to be live stream through YouTube and also on Google Hangouts. So you can join me at either one of those. Um, there should be something sent out uh, so that you can watch it live and I'll have something in the description, a link or something where you can find it there. All right. Thanks.